some amazing looking cakes. Shall we go there after school? That's the same thing you said before we left. Hmm? You've been acting strange today. Uh... Oh yeah, we went way deep underground. You were freaking out. You've got to remember that, right? Underground? You mean the downstairs food court at the mall? Um, no. We went to the ruined future. You really don't remember? You said that this morning, too. I've never heard of ruined future. What kind of shop is it? <sighs> She doesn't remember a thing about what just happened. That's not something you can just forget. It's more like... Her memories were rewritten. As if she never went there at all. But the school marked us absent those days. But she's acting like she's been here the whole time. It's crazy. Did that underground computer do this? Glad you remember, at least. Miwako has no memory of the whole ordeal. To her, it's like nothing ever happened. And Shinonome-senpai... She doesn't even remember my face. So that's what Sekigahara meant about being managed. Damn. If that's true, then... Everyone here's in the same boat, right? My mom? The people of my city? Maybe they're all hidden somewhere, being monitored. It all comes down to that underground computer. I bet it has the answers. <sighs> I'm... I'm gonna go back there. What? Dude, are you crazy? The place is crawling with androids. Um, I'm pretty good at hiding. Dumbass. You'll die. Besides, how the hell do you plan on getting there? If we use the gate again, we can return to that era. Do you even know how? Uh... I don't think Morimura would be much help. And Shinonome-senpai... She was looking at me real suspiciously. Oh, I know! Sekigahara-kun! I'll find him and... Calm down. Just think about it for a sec. You really want to mess with that thing? Shit's dangerous. And you know, if you get stranded again, you might be stuck for good. I guess when you put it like that... Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. But still... Now that I think about it... Why do you care? Don't tell me. You're worried about me that much? Am I really that important to you? Oh, shut up! Go ahead and die for all I care. It's just... I'd feel pretty shitty being the one who let you do it. Huh. So that's how it is. So... what? You want me to just sit on my ass until something happens? I get it, alright? We'll think of something together. Just don't go rushing off on your own. Well, look what we got here. Ogata, most punchable face in the city. I think it's about time we settled our shit. Hey now! 
Come on, you're fighting again? Stop that! You stay out of this, idiot. What do we got here? Don't tell me this little bitch is your girl. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. <laughs> That's messed up, man. The hell did you just say? You wanna say that again? Say it to my face. Come on! Hey, stop it! That's only a taste of what you deserve. Asshole. The train's already here. Huh. Whatever you want. Waiting around like this. <sighs> we'll think of something together. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep your word next time, dummy. <sighs> another day, another waste of time. be a gate here somewhere. Was it all just a weird dream? Oh. oh, stop it, me! If I start to doubt myself, it's all over. I've got a lot more investigating to do. When we arrived, the gate was right here. If I stand here... I should be able to go back. At least, that's what I think. But what do I do to get it to show up? Maybe there's a switch somewhere. Here we are, 1985. <sighs> do you know what you have to do? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd be questioning my sanity. It's so absurd, my head's going to burst. You can head back and rest up. Okino. Don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. I just need to ensure Chihiro Morimura doesn't find out. Time to pull a few tricks on the gate and cover our tracks. See you. I saw oh. that! <laughs> Finally found my inn. So... You there. You seem to be able to access the gate. Who are you? Tomi Kisaragi. And you are... Okino kun, a guy who doesn't want to be caught by Morimura, right? Uh. Now then, won't you do something for me? You don't have much of a choice. <laughs> well, well.
Juro. What should I make for dinner? I think we have some ground beef. I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. And done. Something smells good. Awake, just in time for dinner. Am I Juro Izumi? What oh. are you saying? Do you remember me? You knew about this? That these dreams are really his memories? Please, you have to tell me. You know something, don't you? Please, tell me. Oh. His memories haven't returned yet. Is what Fluffy's been doing really working? I hope so. You're... You're Juro Kurabe. Why are you saying that? It's all I can say. I made a promise to Tamao-san. My grandma? Please, don't ask me anything else. I won't be able to continue staying here if you do. I don't understand. Juro. Megumi-san, so this is where you went. <sighs> you were with Juro earlier. Hmm. I suppose this is technically the first time we've met. I'm Tamal Karabe. You were crying. Poor thing. Well, what do you want? I know you have feelings for Juro. What does that have to do with anything? You desire to be by his side, do you not? Oh, well... Of course I do. Then you will do just that. I'll make the arrangements. What? However, I have two conditions. First, you will treat him as Juro Karabe. Huh? You must not tell him anything about the future. Or about himself. But why? It's the only way to keep him safe. I don't understand. Can you do it? Can you treat him only as Juro Karabe? Well, I... My other condition. If he starts to remember he's Juro Izumi, you must tell me immediately. But he is. Why would that be bad? It would be dangerous if he became Juro Izumi. Very dangerous. The reasons are unimportant. If you agree to these two conditions, you can live with him. <sighs> what will you do?
What will you do? But he's not Juru Kurabe. He's not. I see. That is unfortunate. Oh, wait! I accept. How wonderful. Here. These documents make it legal for you to live with him. A rental agreement? I'll tell Mori Morrison of our arrangement myself. Please, go to Juro now. Oh. Thank you. Fluffy, can nobody else see you? Morimura. So, you've been living at the Karabe house. Oh, yes. Has there been any change? Has he said anything strange? Any confusion about being Juro Izumi? What makes you ask that? It sounds like you know something. Don't tell me. You know something? Excuse me. Oh. Karabekun. Is something wrong? You look pale. Tell me the truth. I'm actually Jiro Izumi, aren't I? The way I am now is something you created. What's this all of a sudden? I get it now. The woman who keeps showing up in my dreams. The one I saw on Sumire Bridge. It's not for you, Sakasan. It's you. Chihiro Morimura. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Have you been aware this whole time? <gasps> Kurabe-kun? Juro! What was that about? Hmm. I don't know. an emergency. Juro's been taken. What? That idiot. He got too close to some dangerous people. Dangerous? Those who use magic for their own means. You went there before. The abandoned factory in Higoromocho. They're going to alter his memories. You need to go there again. You need to rescue <laughs> Juro. Damn it! He's getting too far. He's gone? I knew he wasn't real. No, it doesn't matter. Right now, Juro needs me. I'm on my way, Juro.
Juro, this way. Wait! Are you with him? You know Fluffy? Fluffy? Don't worry. He can make you better. <sighs> You're starting to recognize what's in your dreams, aren't you? Do you remember me? It's not exactly like that. I finally understand. These... The things I remember, they aren't from the Juro you know. <gasps> no, that can't be. Why would you say that? The things I saw in my dreams, they're memories. And the only memory I have of you is when I shot and killed you. <gasps> I was worried. I was so afraid that... That I'd hurt you again. Because I... Who are you? Is there really nothing left? There's no trace of him inside you? <laughs> no. I betrayed everyone. I betrayed Tony. It was all a lie. I... I'm such an idiot. Yakushiji. That cat. What was the point? Wait. Understood. Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. These numbers are for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. fashion phone so the numbers were for a message service I wonder who would have left a message for me
Why does this guy keep calling? Have I been following his orders this whole time? He wanted information. And he was trying to extract it from that data unit. <sighs> gun from the upbeat. If that message from myself was true, then Natsuno Minami is a key figure in all this. She may get me a step closer to recovering my memories. If I can really believe what I heard, that is. I guess I'd better get my hands on that data unit and find out. I'll do some investigating of my own on Minami. I just need to find her first. Now, how should I approach this? I wouldn't mind having Fuyusaka tag along. She may even be able to help me find Natsuno Minami. But I don't want to get her mixed up in all this. Wait a minute. When I met up with Fuyusaka this morning, a girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsuno Minami? I'll wait for school to get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. Fuyusaka's at the front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. Basic pick the it's found at the, the or the medical they've Shihiro Mori, especially for those from another world, like me. If um, that she seems to have a particular and well, Natsuno Minami, she was the one who had that data unit. Fuyusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. I'd better stay out of sight. They must be trying to pin me down here. Guess I'm steering clear of the track room for now. Excuse me, where can I find someone who's on the track team? Oh, well, we're on the track team. Do you need something? I'm looking for a student by the name of Natsuno Minami. Oh, Minami? She went for a run around the school. She hasn't come back yet. Yep, that's right. Around the school. Got it. Thanks. That's... She's the one who delivered that package to me. The one that contained the message to myself. Looks like she goes to this school too. Definitely up to something. <laughs> um. Natsuno Minami. Bastard! Stay the hell away from Natsan! Wait, Yuki-chan! For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face! Stop this right now, you two! 
fine. You seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. <sighs> That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. You too. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... That's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. They're the ones who had it say all those things. SIU? It's where those guys in black are from. Uh, how do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. Then why cooperate with them? Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> So those black suits wanted me to see that footage. But why? So this is it. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So, here it is. Not John. Uh. Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? Yes. I can't let them get their hands on this information. My partnership with Ida. My dishonesty. You knew all along. Didn't you, Miura? You might not know this. But you're a terrible liar. I guess so. Why didn't you show me the data after it was analyzed? Because you took pity on me? Some things are best left unknown. I disagree. I should know about my own past. No matter how terrible I was. Can you link me to the logs through this message? Shaki Gahara. Please, Miura. Show me the logs from 2188. Who's the target? The leading figure in nanotech research. Chihiro Morimura. Hmm. She's a former executive of Numen Inc. After she left the company, I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. You pushed for the acquisition of Newman Inc. And that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's interstellar development project. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds. But Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation. And that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <laughs> like I'd waste my time. I'm an assassin. A professional. If I'm expected to perform my job perfectly, and I need every last detail on my target. <sighs> Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. You'll find her research lab there. I'll be heading into orbit myself next month for an inspection. I want the job handled by then. And be discreet. I've just sent over security details for Sector 4. 
You'll also find a security personnel ID for your use. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura and put an end to the project. First, I'll have to confirm receipt of your payment. What was all that about? Morimura's that one teacher, right? You came here from the future to kill her? But more importantly, the hell were you doing with that four-eyed bastard? I'm... an assassin? Morimura. So I really did do it. No. I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? <sighs> and I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? No. That can't be right. There you are. Keeping an eye on me with your drone? Finding you was simply a coincidence. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. I wasn't too worried about you. Knowing you, I figured you'd keep yourself out of trouble. <laughs> so tell me, back on the battlefield in 2064, who used DD-426? Someone did his research. Your Sentinel was the source of the infection. So the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. However, Chihiro Morimura enacted Operation Aegis after we lost. What is Operation Aegis? Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. It was the only terminal tested on. But it was enough to activate the self-defense system. Sector 4 will be the real deal. The 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. And we can't let that happen. By loop, you mean going back in time, right? How is that different from shifting? Well, this world was created only 15 years ago. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Never existed? But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? This is neither the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. They were created when you arrived from another world. I've had enough of this crap. If there's really some other world, then prove it. I take it you're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed. Especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal. To gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated. And that includes you. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. We merely skipped the recreation. 
You're looking rather pale. Didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura? For Izumi and Shinonome-kun? You and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However, there is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? So then, what do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. And if I'm going to do that, I'll need your help. Still don't believe me? Not really. Well, you will, once you see the logs for yourself. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. <sighs> I know he made a copy of it. The data will be useful in the next world. So I'd like to get my hands on it. See that drone over there? Drone? This thing? Yes, but don't activate it just yet. That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Miura? It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. As such, he's chosen not to cooperate. It would be best if you told him you saved him from me. Come again? You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. You're asking me to lie to him? He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why. But he's the only one who can track and activate it. For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shinonome-kun. Well then. You can't use the gate at school due to structural damage. I've set new coordinates further ahead. Feel free to use that one. Hang on, I never... To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. They won't be aware of our plans, however. So try not to get caught. I'm heading back to Sector 4. You're okay. Sure. What am I supposed to do now? If I'd been there, before my homeland lost everything, if I'd fought in the Sentinel, 
Maybe we'd still have some hope left. According to Okino, that chance is long gone. But he might still know something. I feel so powerless. In the end, all I can do is rely on him. I... So the Sentinel's a web it ne <sighs> He's telling me about all these things. But even I know this is all over my head. How do I make a difference? Is it even possible? <laughs> Where is Okino? there. <laughs> you certainly don't take pride in your appearance. That's all I have to wear. Do we really have students like you at our school? I've <sighs> never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. I've never seen you around. for the wrong subject the whole night. That happens. And of course, the teacher just had to call on me. Yikes. So a total trash fire. Understanding. No, I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. doing I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. Oh. Noodles, stir fried, and I but if. Uh, what's got you all nervous? I just don't want to miss the show tonight. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. What's the show? It's, uh, Midnight Meow Meow. Uh, 
I'm just a big fan, you know. Back to front. Oh, right. That show with the pop stars. What? Something wrong with that? I mean, it's fine, but... I have 100 yen on me. 150 yen? I don't have the money. What exactly are you doing? Really? What? I've never seen you around. I've never seen you around. Kim, mine is some... Uh, it's got you all nervous. I just don't want to miss this show tonight. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you've been missing practice. Hold it right there. What's the show? It's, uh, Midnight Meow Meow. Uh... I'm just a big fan, you Sorry. Know. Back to front. I remembered something oh, I have to do. Right. That show with the pop stars. What? Something wrong with that? I mean, it's fine, but... A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. I have 200 yen on me. Your finest yaki... Sorry for making you wait, Yaki Soba Pond. But it's okay now. Time to dig in. Mm. Mm. <laughs> delicious. Impossibly delicious. But of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pond. So I'll see you at the usual place later? Yeah, I get it. Oh. I'll see you later. Who was that just now? Nobody, okay? It's fine. Oh. Oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again tonight. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Mm. Tokisaka Shrine? You don't need to know. Hey. Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? Mm. I shouldn't right now. After sundown, I'll wait for him at Tokisaka Shrine.
No point just sitting around waiting for him. We'll have to kill time for a while. <sighs> that damn Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? <sighs> no, I'm getting too worked up about this. Damn his allowance. I can spend this all right now. going on with them. I can tell. Sokino planning with that girl. Oh. oh no. What time is it? I need to hurry over to Tokisaka Shrine. I can't believe I overslept. It's so late. The two of them must be long gone by now. Probably. Well, no choice. We'll wait here and confront them when they return. <sighs> Ogata. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Cause I sure as hell do. Now that I think about it, I don't know how you escaped, but... I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata-kun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi-san? Uh, yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. The hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Must be that girl from this afternoon. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went, too. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh. Oh. You don't know either? <clears throat> Did 
Did you have to take the same hiding spot? It's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. God damn it. I'm sick of all these mosquitoes. Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home. But I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. So, this girl, Kisaragi. What kind of relationship do you two have? Uh, she's, you know, a friend. A friend, huh? Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Okino. Shh. They're coming. Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? Okino! Hey, idiot, don't just jump out! Ogata? What the heck are you doing here? Ah, shut up. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you a little... jealous? That's totally it, right? Please. We'll get jealous is over you. Is that what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous! I was just... I was just... worried about you, that's all. Hmm. You went to that underground place, right? Well, well the uh, androids were all broken anyway. I want to know how to I save mean, everyone. If so there's a way, to you, then tell me. Moron. Please. I understand. I'm doing my best to find the right answer here. I don't know if it'll be enough to save everyone, but... It could make a difference, at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Oak, you know, you kidding me? Oh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. So walk me home, please? Damn it. You got off easy this time, Okino. Now, we'd better get going. To where? The Tower of Knowledge. That's where it all starts. you about this before we're inside the buried UFO so this UFO it's somewhere deep underground let's see first you'd better take a look at this I know that shoreline that's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have... this. The saucer. Around 30 kilometers in diameter. That's gigantic. So this is what the Daimos had been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5, which means it's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional, and that's the one in 1985. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. Forty-year gaps, going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp. 
Especially for you. Hey, now. It's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. In other words, that'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list. Which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Daimos's Wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. So why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is... is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which, it's this UFO that's abducting people. <sighs> we don't know much about the Inner Lossiter, but... It's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but... That's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the inner Lossiter's processes. Some totally unrelated function. Nothing to do with the decode. I tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but... I just... I don't know. None of this makes sense. The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Daimos. And access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO. Universal control. Might have to do with the reason people disappear. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1. The automated factories in the year 2105. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Daimos. That's where the Sentinels were created too. And the final access point, by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from its data banks, they're pulling blueprint data for the Daimos themselves. Even knowing all that, though, are we any closer to saving the world? It's a long shot, but... If I can figure out this UFO and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. <sighs> but, yeah... Feels like... I'm still overlooking something. Something a bit more fundamental. Shikishima. 
Miss Murimura's death has left the Shikishima execs in disarray. Now they won't let me spearhead the Sentinel Project, as if I'm just a child. I doubt my opinion will weigh much in their discussions going forward. Miss Morimura, why did you have to die? Pretty quick, Goto-kun. I checked the corpse at the police station. It was yours, Miss Morimura. There's no doubt about it. Is that so? You don't seem too shocked about your death. Well, it didn't exactly stop me. Here I am, safe and sound. I suppose that's true. So, what did the police say? The cause of death was a gunshot to the abdominal area. No bullet was found in the body. Though it's easy to imagine why. The murder weapon was likely from beyond this time, beyond material bullets. Estimated time of death is approximately 1900 hours. You were witnessed running off somewhere with a short-haired student. According to a pedestrian's eyewitness account, anyway. They found a witness. This era's police really did their due diligence. There should have been that drone tracking her movement. So, anything helpful in its footage? The timing couldn't have been worse. It looks like it was monitoring the government's movement at the time. So she wasn't even under surveillance. I see. Any thoughts as to our primary suspect? Who do you think did it? Well... An acquaintance of Miss Morimura. Described as a short-haired male in a student uniform. Most likely A. Sekigahara. The witness statement matches the description of A. Sekigahara. It did seem like something was wrong with A. Sekigahara's memories. I wouldn't be surprised if he was our murderer. Though it raises the question of why he'd bother to lure her out. Surely a murderer's optimal scenario is to avoid being spotted at all. Well, maybe it wasn't premeditated. He could have killed her by accident. Well, he certainly is the type to brood over things. I can say he's not enough of an idiot to shoot someone on impulse. Who else could it be? That man with that... Call sign? Some numerical name. Logically speaking, he would naturally be another potential suspect. He did attempt to eradicate all the compatibles. He's a dangerous individual, and he's still at large. All that's left of 426 is his consciousness. I don't think I could reliably predict his behavior. He's desperate enough to do anything. 426 certainly isn't above killing. If Ida-san were here, I'm sure he'd declare 426 our primary suspect. We know he killed at least four people. That's why I shot him dead in the end. If he resurrected himself as an android, maybe... That would give him a chance at revenge. As a motive, it sounds pretty clear-cut. Miss Morimura, I have one more question. What is it? Regarding 426, would you say you had any particular feelings toward him? Feelings? Well, he was certainly a good friend. I felt like he really understood me. Well, used to, anyway. Where's this coming from? That? 
doesn't make sense. According to number 18, or should I say, Tamao-san. So you believe 426 is the most likely suspect? Barring A. Sekigahara, who else could it be? I had a hunch about Miss Morimura's feelings, and my discussion with Tamao-san only confirmed my suspicions. Kotokun. I'm sorry for this. I know it's sudden. I need to talk to you. Did something happen? It's about Mori Morisan. She's been transplanting 426's memories onto Jurokun. I only just found out. 426? As in the escaped android? No, not that one. She's using the memory data of the man himself. It was saved during the shift. In other words, she's trying to use Juro to create another 426? I did my best to talk her down. She's letting me handle Juro-kun's treatment now. Still, I don't think she's given up on this. Why is she trying to bring back 426? Well... I've been giving her some advice about it, and I understand where she's coming from, but... <sighs> Mori Morrison is in love with him. <sighs> with 426? Maybe she always has been. That's why she wants him back as a human. But she has to know the risks. He's a dangerous man. True, but that's not exactly what she's remembering. Besides, she's the one who killed him. That guilt is still eating at her. <sighs> Watch over Mori Morison. And try to keep her away from Juokun if you can. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I can barely take the idea of one 426, let alone two. So I was right. Miss Morimura did have feelings for someone. When Juro Izumi lost his memories, you aimed to use him to revive 426. Make one a vessel for the other. <laughs> one reason seems most likely. You harbored romantic feelings for him. Me? <laughs> With him? You're joking. That Chihiro Morimura was mind-hacked, remember? You said so yourself? My goodness, romantic feelings? For him? <laughs> no, God no. Not my cup of tea. Aside from Miss Morimura and Ida-san, four others came here for refuge 16 years ago. By the time I'd started assisting Miss Morimura's efforts, they'd already lost their physical bodies. Fortunately, we were able to use the data stored in Sector Zero. This allowed us to meld their replicated consciousness with AI. As for how they lost their bodies in the first place, reportedly 426 is doing. He destroyed them all in one fell swoop. According to Ida-san's account, anyway. But if number 16 is to be believed, that's not what really happened. And Miss Morimura should be aware of that. I spoke with the pilot of Sentinel number 16. Back then, she gave Miss Morimura something nobody else would. The truth. that again. Uh, 
Our defensive maneuvers failed. So we decided to stick to the plan. We all headed to the gate to escape. But there was an explosion while we were shifting. <sighs> From what I can tell, the Type 98 we were shifting in got attacked. But that's the last thing I remember. After that, nothing. But that means... Is that how your data was damaged? It wasn't some plot by 426 after all? Just... an explosion? We never did manage to completely reconstruct your data. I thought it was just that you didn't get converted in time, but... You were... You were all dead before the shift even happened. Itakun, you said he killed the four of them. I know you did. You said he sabotaged them, killed them. Given the chance, he certainly would have. You lied to me? He already tried to kill us all in the past. You know he'd have tried again if we left him alive. Killing him was the right call. No. That means... I... I'd like to revisit something you just mentioned. About 426 killing at least four individuals. Do you... really not remember? Remember what? You've read my files, I presume? I gathered quite a lot of material in the past. Most of it is rather outdated. Including Ida-san's statement concerning those victims. In other words, your answer is objectively incorrect. Really? Well, can you blame me? Look at this body I'm stuck with. I'm bound to have some memories confused. If you recall, I suggested that Miss Morimura was mind-hacked. That idea was based on a certain piece of evidence I found. One particular log. What log? If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know. Two years before you were born, Ida-san extracted some information from 426 that in turn led to the discovery of the data log in question. As for the log itself, it contains footage from the year 2188. It was found buried in the mainframe data during the analysis of 426. <sighs> you seem very disturbed by me seeing that file. So much so, in fact, that you ended up deleting all of your logs. Would you mind telling me why you did that? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, at the very least, its contents suggested a connection to 426. Or even that he had been manipulating Miss Morimura. The log contained a very interesting report. Apparently, Juro Izumi downloaded memories onto Chihiro Morimura's clone. 426 was the one who overwrote my memories? So what does that mean? What are you trying to say? Your Morimura and I are both 426? This is Tetsuya Ida. Don't know why I'm recording this. Nobody's going to hear it. Still, might as well. Not like I have anywhere else to share this. I was in the middle of a routine bug regression test, and I noticed part of the final phase had been altered. The change was made in Chihiro Morimura's host. The setting change looks like it'll trigger a memory overwrite. I don't know anything about the memory's contents, but it says the modifying user was Juro Izumi. Because someone thought it'd be a great idea to give that guy senior admin ID. And at this point, what the hell can we do about it? At least 
Now I have proof. You're all hypocrites anyway. Yes, including you, jackass. So who even cares anymore? None of this matters. We're all dead anyway. The log inconveniently revealed one of your secrets. One you were desperate to keep me away from. So you deleted it. That's my theory anyway. Ever since the battle that ended with the Sentinels infected, Miss Morimura has been pushing this operation as one of its fiercest supporters. Remember where this all began? It was the compatibility experiment, the one that produced you. Based off Miss Morimura's footage and your own admissions, I've completely misjudged the situation. All this time, I believed you were her. But even from the very beginning, you've been your own person. So, what are you saying? I'm not Chihiro Morimura? If I'm not a duplicate of Chihiro Morimura, then who exactly do you think I am? You are Chihiro Morimura. Well, there you have it. No, not Miss Morimura, the teacher. Professor Chihiro Morimura. The one from the year 2188 and the central figure of Shikishima's Interstellar Development Project. Losing precious time. 
go focus on the job you're supposed to be doing. <sighs> Understood. I'll go. You'll find it safer towards the river. If, hypothetically, you wanted to know. Wait. As long as we're both here, there's something I want to clear up. So, tell me. You were in love with Miss Morimura, weren't you? <sighs> you said she was mind-hacked. But it was more about you being jealous, wasn't it? That's hardly... This may be our last chance to talk. Answer me. <sighs> you... are correct. Is that what you wanted to hear? That I was driven by some cheap, naive impulse? That I... that I can't think about anything else? And that's why you brought back my memory, too. Isn't it? <sighs> you never cared how you managed to do it. You just wanted her back. So much. I'm glad. You really were a slave to your desires. That's the Renya Goto I remember. It means... I don't have to like you after all. Thank you. I think that's all I wanted to hear. Professor, I... You should go. After all, we still have our bet. Although it looks like I'm about to win it. Strange. I know this is my first time here, but this suddenly makes me feel so... nostalgic. Sunsets will do that, I find, regardless of time period. Yes, but... this must be... well, I suppose it must be one of those places. So? Where am I going? I've rented an apartment under a false name. Can't be any worse than our last accommodations. 
As long as it's not rubble, I'll take it. My apologies. If it's any comfort, I'm certain nobody will find you there. Not Shikishima, and certainly not Miss Morimura. I suppose we have Ida-san to thank for all this. The funds and paperwork he prepared were invaluable. Tetsuya Ida. And he's still missing, is he? Yes. Let's go. Chihiro-san. <sighs> you think I'm the professor? That is what I said. You were Professor Chihiro Morimura, a major figure in Shikishima in the year 2188, namely the leader of its space initiative. What are you even talking about? Just some hypotheticals. A possible interpretation of the evidence I found. Okay, say I am the professor. Remember, Miss Morimura is the one who created me. You think that was her plan? She wanted a host for the professor and not herself? How would that make sense? Miss Morimura ran an experiment to grant her clone compatibility. She believed that you were synchronized to her. She believed it was her own data she transmitted. But it was the other Chihiro Morimura in Sector Zero. And of course, you entered the world as a newborn. Incapable of verbal communication. So Miss Morimura never realized her mistake. This is all speculation. Certainly, yes. But if I'm right, and you are the professor, I imagine you were in quite a panic yourself. All things considered, it was a staggering deviation from the original plan. What original plan? Among the logs from 2188, one of Tetsuya Ida's noted that he'd found an anomaly. Chihiro Morimura was set to undergo a memory transplant in the final phase. And the final phase, well, that would be us. I don't know where you think you're going with this. A bit of patience, please. There's a little more context I need to provide. The log from the future I saw first. That would be the comms log I found with my own ID. The first log I checked held some surprises. The author seemed to be an elderly Renya Goto. And the date of recording appeared to be 2188. I assumed it was some future version of myself. One that had time traveled into the far future. But now, I don't think that's the case. I believe it's the other way around. In other words, I myself am a clone of him. Every individual I saw in that log footage, they all created clones of themselves. Clones? Huh? I did find a log that proves this point. What did you see? A comms log between you and Professor Takamiya. Her field is genetic engineering, I note.
they'll just keep building up and breaking down. An infinite cycle of self-replication on its way to its target. There's basically zero chance of the tech failing midway through. They'll just keep on going. Probably long after humanity's gone. Glad I came to an expert, then. All that's left is the refinement of the memory cube. The infrastructural storage cell, right? The cube's made up of five identical memory layers. In theory, it'll compare itself to nearby probes and use them as a template for repairs. And if it can't be repaired, well... Fine, one probe down. We've got thousands more. And our passengers? I'll be loading them up with the DNA of all the survivors. I've already got samples and data from all 15. Now it's just down to launching them. These clones will go with all our hopes on their shoulders. By the way, what do we do about him? I mean, after that DNA test. <sighs> we do nothing. He doesn't have to know. What could I even say to him? Not much, I guess. There were 15 survivors of that colony, each with a clone established to be compatible. Though they grew up in different eras, different worlds. And you... You aimed to replace your clone's memories with your own. That was your real plan. Right now, I imagine your biggest question is precisely how much of that log I've seen. Am I close? You do have a genius mind, but also the form of a child. I imagine it's harder than usual to hide your agitation. It's absolutely not... <sighs> now you're just trying to trick me? I'd say based on that log. Professors Takamiya and Morimura seem to know each other quite well. Maybe you'd know something about that. Of course not. Then perhaps instead, Tsukasa Okino? Huh. Being compatible, that makes one part of his identity clear. He's one of the 15 from the year 2188. So, any theories? Who was he in the year 2188? Uh. Care to guess? Stop it. No? Then allow me to clarify. That boy, Tsukasa Okino, is Professor Chihiro Morimura's son. But not her child by personal conventional birth. The professor donated her egg cells as a young woman, in accordance with the policies on population control. Their blood relation wasn't exactly obvious until DNA testing on the clone revealed it. The professor was faced with the truth. He was her son, which naturally sparked an inconvenient surge of maternal instinct. <clears throat> However, Okino himself didn't think highly of the professor. He had his disagreements with the project staff, too. When it seemed like her end was near, the professor recorded him one final message. One last chance for him to know the truth. Stop! You saw that? But how? You'd need a biometric ID match to access that log. So you should only have been able to access your own. My logs and Okinos should have been locked off. Thank you. Professor Morimura. Uh, uh. Indeed, the files I could access were somewhat limited. 
mostly company logs. Meeting reports, call transcripts, bureaucratic chaff. Barely anything in the way of your personal records. <sighs> then, how do you know what was in my logs? It's simple, really. That should do it for preparations. Now, let's see if the biometric authentic... Did it go through? Looks like that got me past the initial barrier, at least. Now, with Miss Murimura's ID, I should be able to get into her logs. Maybe if I check Miss Murimura's logs, I might find a clue why your biometric ID matches hers. She proved very helpful. She is Chihiro Morimura, a compatible version. If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know who Iori Fuyasaka is. Because that would mean you hid her here in Sector 4. The plan was for the two newborns to grow up with their own separate lives. Ida-san's idea, presumably. Chihiro Morimura was planned to be placed in 2104, and Tetsuya Ida in 2024, yet neither could be found. I knew Renya Goto of Shikishima pretty well. You and he are very different. Except that you both make my life a lot harder. So, suppose I am the professor. Then what? I want to know the truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this. But that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. And why's that? It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. <sighs> From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. Oh?
you somewhere safer. But I'll handle this. Usami-chan? the underground UFO. The Sector 4 mainframe. What are you trying to achieve? Maximum hypocrisy. Once I'm done here, your fight might get just a little easier. Get on the shifter already. Established a connection to the system. My senior credentials should take care of the rest. Thank you. I didn't think you'd come back for me. I'm shifting you back. Now, let's get started, shall we? All units fighting the kaiju. Can you hear me? That. How'd you get on this channel? Huh? Wait, you're the gloomy Wako is helping. Chihiro? Is that you, Chihiro? I'm Chihiro Morimura. What? That's our teacher's name. I'm going to evacuate the populace all at once. Readouts say 1.2 million people in Sector 4. They'll all be force shifted to the year 2025. As in, Sector 3. To the year 2025? You're shifting over a million people? So you don't have to worry about any civilian casualties. That's all. Um, wait a minute, Chihiro! Initializing shift.
That should be everyone. Unbelievable. Absolutely ridiculous. Why am I doing this? meaning of this? How did you gain access? Explain yourself. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama. I just have one favor to ask of you. A favor? Well, it's kind of complicated, but I'm actually asking on behalf of someone else. A young man by the name of Okino. Sukasa Okino?